School of Dance. learning dance at the end of my first year in university. I was so crazy that I actually danced up to 12 hours or more a day. I would come in early at about 12 o'clock in the afternoon and I would practice by myself on my own until about 4 or 5 o'clock where I would start training with my teacher, um, like a choreography. And at 7 to 9 we would do a class and after the class we would actually go out to party, so we would go to um, different clubs around Singapore to just dance and we would dance until about 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning. I got a chance to actually train to go um, overseas within three months to Thailand to perform as his partner and that was my first trip overseas as a performer in uh, salsa or any other dance. From then on, I've been to many different countries to teach, perform, judge. It was quite tiring sometimes but I love teaching and I love the, the people I meet here, the company I have here. By the time I was in my fourth year, um, that was my honours year, I took half a year and after that I decided to drop out of honours year, which may not be the best uh, thing that any parent may advise you to do. That was actually something I never considered doing before, but the opportunity was there and I had the platform to go ahead, so I just decided to, okay, you know, give it a shot. You only live once, and while I'm young and I can dance and teach, and I have the energy, you know, to go for it and try my best and see what the outcome was. In 2005, I was awarded the top female salsa dancer in Asia by worldsalsanews.com and uh, I was also awarded the NUS Student Achievement Awards for Arts and Culture in my achievements in salsa. Um, finally, I was also uh, the champion for the first Singapore Open Salsa competition that year. Aside from dancing the female part, I am also quite well known for dancing the beat. In salsa, usually the male leads the female. What I did was I actually danced with another lady and we did, I would say, quite a kick-ass show. <laughs> Under the tutelage of uh, Mr. Justice Ed, I undergoed my salsa training in Kansas City and he told me one thing uh, is that salsa is a pretty eclectic dance. Um, it promotes creativity, so if you want to be a good dancer, you must learn many different kinds of dance styles and integrate them into salsa. He taught me to learn uh, hip hop, belly, lingo, lyrical jazz, belly Afro-Cuban! I have included all this into my dance and that's why people tell me the way I dance is actually very different from, from what other people usually dance. Body movements are different and all that is because of this training actually.
to like many different countries in Asia. Mostly they attend Southside Congresses. I think I uh, went to places like uh, Taiwan, Beijing, Shanghai. Hong Kong, where we got the opportunity to perform and also teach some classes. LA, uh, Germany, uh, London, Paris. Where have you been? Uh, I've been here for only, for only a short while, for less than a year, but uh, I've been able to travel to Malaysia to perform. actually a Latin dance um, that has its roots in Latin America and um, the music is very fast-paced, it's um, very big on percussion. There is a lead and a follow, so the guys will lead the girl in the dance. When you dance with a person, you, you don't have to know that person or you may not have seen that person before in your entire life and we can dance like normally, like how any couple would dance on the dance floor. So that's the beauty of salsa. Salsa is generally divided into two general categories. One is partner work, where the guy leads the girl in turns and stuff like that. And the other segment is what we call shines, where they can break apart and do their own stuff. So it's sort of like a solo version of salsa. Or the guy can stand there, hold her hand while the girl does moves around him. She basically shows off. For those of you who have never heard of salsa before, it's actually very popular in Singapore right now. It's probably the third most popular dance, aside from maybe ballet and hip-hop. You see people dancing salsa all the way from 5, 6, 7 years old until they are about 70 years old. So that's how diverse um, the age range is in salsa. People get addicted to salsa when they dance. Um, because it's not just about the dance itself, but it's about the people you meet, the friends that you make. If you ask me why a dancer dances, um, I would say that it's not for the money, not for the fame, or any reason like that. We all dance because we just love to dance. and. When the music plays, our bodies just move and we just start, we just start shaking, we start moving to the music. We dance because it makes us feel good. So if you're out there and you feel the same way I do, then hey, keep on doing it. <laughs>